guys, it's your girl Yaira, and welcome to the Unless Access Football Debate Show. I have two fine gentlemen here I'm about to have a short debate with. Join me, let's see what they have for us. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Seb. What's your name? Sebastian. Sebastian, okay. So the short form is Seb. Yeah. Your name? I'm Eben. Eben? Yes. So I see you are in the middle of the match. Of course, and we are leading right now. Okay, so you support Man City? Of course, Manchester City all the way. Okay, and you? United. Always United. <laughs> So the, the, the blood is red. All right. <laughs> so between Man City and then Man United, which one do you think has been consistent for the past decade? Oh, they are our junior brothers. You see, <clears throat> there's a saying: when you take a little kid to the, um, uh, like, to the farm, you have to catch some small bed for him so that you also enjoy the the, the, the journey. You know what? Aha, we have been dominating for all these decades, so we want to let them enjoy because the city you've dominated. Wherever you pass, United, United. So we're giving them some small space to, to enjoy. We bounce back strongly. City, oh, our kid brothers, you have been chopping them here and there. They are our wives. You see, they are our wives. <laughs> when you go to your wife, you don't need to beg. Ha, any style. If you give up. But today, they make them enjoy. <laughs> I'm not sure he has really answered the question you asked him because he said for the past decade, for the past 10 years, which team has been consistent and better in English football? Yeah. And for the past 10 years, how many league trophies have you won? And City, we've, we've done it five out of six. You understand? In the past six years, we've won years. five. You're saying five out of six. Yeah. Just imagine. And even in no, a decade, how? Yeah, in a decade. Saying five out of six. In a what decade. Does it mean? No, I'm saying that for the past. Ten years. I know. So listen, to, listen, we've, listen. We've, no. We've won four or five. Say four out of ten. Or no. five. But don't say five out of. And for the past ten years, yeah. how many trophies have you won so far? Good. For the past so, then, ten years now, yeah. arguably, City, we are the best team in England. The Chelsea fans may come in because they've won Champions League, they've won a couple of league titles. That one, we can debate with them. Mm -hmm. But as a Manchester United fan, eh, City, we are winning our first Champions League trophy and we are winning the treble. Who, who told you you are winning? Who yeah, told you you are winning the Champions League? Wait until the final race is blown. No. Don't just stand here and say we've won, we've won. What does it mean? Wait, you'll see a surprise on that day. You know what? Uh, the league is meant for all the 20 teams. When United keeps winning the league, it doesn't make it interesting. We've won, uh, we've won it 20 times. The next to follow is Liverpool, 19. And the rest, they, they don't come closer. They are so, our kid brothers. I said they are our kid brothers. We are in the same town. They are in the city. We are the village. Fine. But we have been dominating them everywhere. Every, the trophy that we are playing today, FA Cup, we've won it 12 times. Ask them how many times they have they won. So, like, as I said, they are our kid, bro. You have to make them feel that they're also part of all the community. So is that to say you guys intentionally laid back to give them the chance to win? Oh, some? Not really, but you want them to be, you know, be okay. Because if you keep beating them here and there, they will not, they will not enjoy the city. <laughs> you see, ah, we've done it to them severally. So if they are doing it to us for the first time or so, they should keep, keep it okay. fine. But the game hasn't ended. Anything can happen. But you know that we are winning. We are winning by three goals to oh, now one. Now you are leading, so you can yeah, say Yeah, we are winning five. by three goals to one. Oh, so we don't have two to... One no, yeah, it's two one. The game is not over. We are still running. Good one have given us two goals and we are, um, Helen Allen have not yet scored. Eh? So we are winning by three goals to one. Hmm? I said it during the halftime break and we are winning by three goals to one. Eh? Because when it comes to player to player, we are better than you. We have a better, we have a better so coach. Good. We they have a, a good team. They, they have yeah. a good team than us. Yeah, you know. They are admitting they have, they have a, a good team. They have a better team. Compare this current team. They have a better team. But this local derby, anything can happen. Yeah. I remember in our second leg, they scored as we came back to win. So since the game hasn't ended, anything can happen. I still believe United always United. But on the field of play, you know that we are playing better than you. It doesn't we matter. We are matching you boot to boot. It doesn't we are, matter. We are, yeah, we are, playing, we are playing better Okay, 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 okay. It's, okay. it's getting all. heated. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's getting but heated. But a simple, a simple United question right here. A simple question here. Between United and then City, which one is the best? You admitted they have a good team. For and this season. For this season. Good. Okay. And, and currently, we, we also so have I the just, best coach now. I just, to wrap everything up, I just want a simple yes or no answer. Between United 
and then City. Which one is the best? Are you talking to about you? Or just now? For the past decade, Manchester. For the past, no, for no, the past decade. We are not talking about past glories. We are not talking about past glories. You see, we are we are talking about. You are saying the past. Okay, okay, okay. Past glories. Okay, okay, okay. Past glories. We are using past. We are using past glories. Please calm down. All time. The question is the question is United and City. Which one is best? And there's no way. Yes. Okay, you both you both should calm down. That's why it's called football. You both, yeah. Who is just two years? Yeah, come close the eyes. Yeah, that just been explaining it. United and City. Yes, yes, calm down. So for the past decade, United and City, which one has been the best? They, 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 they've dominated for the past decade. Also, been, but if you so yes or no? Yes. For the decade is yes. But end if you compare argument, United and City, they are nowhere close to us. No, you've already admitted. They are nowhere close to us. Okay. But if you want to count 10 years backwards, then they, they are doing better than us. Yeah. But we've done better than like, oh, don't compare the two of us. They know. They are where? They are our kid brothers, as I said. They are our wives. So that's to say they are also unique in different ways. They can't compare themselves to us. We've beaten them here and there. So if the, the dice has 10, fine. We we'll bounce back strongly okay. and better than them. Nice. Mm. We hope so. Yeah. Good luck to you. And you? Thank you. Um, what I want to say to conclude my argument is that Man City, we are currently the best team in the world right now. And you continue to dominate England and the whole of Europe. When God will we win against Inter Milan in our Champions League final, and you start dominating in the world of football with Pep Guardiola, everything is possible. Now, Manchester United, they are nowhere near Man City when it comes to player, financially, everything. And currently, we also have the best striker in the world right now, which he knows about it. We have the <laughs> dangerous player right now. Do you agree with that? No. The, Why don't the, you if agree? you talk of player, he's not any other player. Uh, someone who cannot control two, three, four balls. No. His own is put the ball in front of him, let him tap in. That's all. No, that's why he's a striker. He's ah. not he's not a made for that. You are talking of strikers, he's not the caliber of the Karim Benzema who go out there, pick the ball, control the ball, give a pass. He cannot even turn and pass. Mm. His own is when the ball is direct to him, then he will shoot. That's all. Aside that, you I hope you are watching the game. He can't even, he can't even that's, turn. That's Just what we call a prolific even, striker. What is prolific? You don't have many touches in the game, <laughs> but you end up scoring and winning all the glories. Okay. Because he has broken all set of record in the English Premier League this season with 35 goals and counting. You know, no player has even scored 34 goals in the Premier League before, but he has broken the record and is counting. That's his first season. Uh -huh. You understand? That's what I want to say. That yes. now, the defenders are going to read him. This is his first season. They didn't know how he plays, how he moves. But now, the coaches will take time to analyze him. And you see how he suffered next season. Next season, he's not going to get as easy as he has gotten it now. You see, he's new. They didn't know him from different leg. So, they played him normal. Okay, but now that they know him, the game that we are watching, just imagine, he hasn't had even... 10 touches. We are on him. So this is that's what is going to happen. It's all part of the plan. It's all, all right, all right. So plan. so not to waste your time. We are going to end the debate here. But give us your final words. Manchester United, you will bounce back. Amen. You will bounce back strongly Amen. and better than what we are seeing today. Amen. Thank you. And we, the Man City fans, we are very few in Ghana here. But I know that the Chelsea fans, the Arsenal fans, even the Manchester United fans, they will be joining the Sea Blues very soon. And we have the forms. If you want to join us, you come, we take a picture of you, then you'll be a Man City fan because for the ongoing years to come, we are going to be the best team and the best team in the whole world. Man City. Are you serious? Are you Amen to that and good luck to you both. You Enjoy the rest of the yeah, match. Thanks. Yeah, so my name is Yaira and that's it for the Unlit Access Football Debate. Kindly keep your comments briefly in the comment section. Let me know your favorite team, whether it's Man City or Man United. Till I come your way next week, it's a bye-bye for now. One play, one play, one play. Add class to your music.